Alex, what's yeah. been going on for you? You've been doing some incredible things, so talk about some of the things and what you just did. Yeah, I actually just got back from my first tour of China, uh, which is the coolest opportunity I've ever had. And when it comes to wrestling, I never would have thought that you'd be getting, you know, to stand in the middle of you know, Shanghai or Harbin and, and uh, you know, Shenzhen. I mean, these cities are massive, and China is definitely going to be an awesome area to to break in for pro wrestling. And out there, man, it's. Uh, it's something else. I mean, I, you know, we go in there. I don't know how many times this year. I mean, they really like what I had to offer. So I've been fortunate enough to very few guys get a chance. Americans alone get a chance to work there, let alone anybody. You know, it's a new market, so I'm getting there on the ground level, and it's uh, it's awesome. How did you get that opportunity? I. Uh, it was just one of those things. Just happened to be approached, right place, right time. And wrestling and everything is about timing, and that's uh, that's really what it came to be. So uh, I jumped at it. I mean, it was not even a hard decision to pick. China is a different country. It's not Japan. Japan has been known for pro wrestling. They have a rich history. What was it like for you just being in that country? And even politically, what was it like for you having to go to China? Politically, it's great. I mean, um, the culture is amazing. The people are so nice and respectful. Uh, I, I, I fell in love with the place. I mean, there was, I don't have a bad word to say about, about China. I really loved it. Uh, it was cold. <laughs> that was about the only thing you could take away from there. But in terms of food, travel, you know, how, how, how everyone treats everyone, fantastic place. I, I really, truly got dug the culture a lot. Are you going to start learning Chinese? Ah, yes, shit, shit, I am. <laughs> you got to pick it up as you go, man. You're going to be exposed to that culture and know it's, you know, only very few people speak English, so you got to kind of adapt and overcome. So, yeah. Speaking of adapting and overcoming, you've been adapting and overcoming in your progression here. What other things have been going on for you? Um, well, I got a chance to uh, get some uh, national exposure doing WrestleCade up in North Carolina. It's a good place to really get seen. So it's actually picked up a lot of work for me. Um, you know, obviously I'm doing a lot of stuff on the West Coast, doing even more work out there in Oregon now. I'm um, going to start going to uh, Midwest, uh, Montana, Minnesota, um, going to North Dakota, going to be working in North Carolina regularly, always up to New England when I can get up there. So uh, I think this is for me on a national scale level and internationally, it's going to be a good year for, for Chamberlain. So. How important is it? What have you learned about having to not only do shows in Florida, obviously it's a great market here, good area to wrestle, but just going other places. I mean, you got, in today's day and age with social media and the ability to have eyes on everything, you gotta put yourself out there, you really do. You have to be able to make the drives, uh, get the flights, network, meet as many people as you can, and you gotta brand yourself. You, as a wrestler, you are a walking business, you are your own brand, and how you represent yourself and where you're seen is definitely gonna influence whether or not you're gonna be able to get that next level, whether it's finally getting to an international stage or finally getting on a television opportunity or working for a bigger platform on the independence. I mean, you really have to, you gotta travel. You really have to, you can't sit in one place for a full hour. You're doing work for Paragon yeah. and Paragon's had TV. What's that been like for you and having some si sort oh, of TV exposure? Phenomenal, I mean, that's, Paragon helped me find Alex Chamberlain as a, as a person, as a character, as a man. When you're working with guys like you know, Gangrel, Len Denton, D'Lo Brown, Mass Striker, um, you know, you're going to learn from these guys and they're going to bring something out of you that you don't even know you have. And that, that kind of experience working with guys who've, who've been on TV, I mean, you, it's, I equate Paragon to a Harvard education of professional wrestling because you're going to learn television, timing, character, promo, um, you know, a specific kind of work that works for television that doesn't necessarily work on the independents because you got to make time work, you got to make sure you wrap the audience in, but you're also reaching for that audience at home mostly for TV. So um, you, you won't get that in many other places. I, I would dare say you're probably not going to get that at maybe more than two other places in the country. Easy. So. Social media for you. Uh, the Alex Chamberlain on Facebook and Instagram and Chamberlain underscore MC for Twitter. Hit me up anytime. I am a very big proponent of all social media. I take a lot of pictures, you see my food. So it's always good. 